Hello guys, Pelofort here. Time to battle legitimate style. So we're in the cold mountains of Quebec. You can see epic meal time over in the distance and Terrence and Philip aren't far away. I think they're Toronto. I don't know. Fuck it. Um, so as you can see, I have some set up on, I don't know, the south and some on the east, perhaps. I don't know what the exact directions are. And soon I will have reinforcements coming. But this is the city of Quebec, not Montreal. That's a different city. And we're gonna charge it from two directions. I have my units group, um, I believe one. One is line infantry, or I'm sorry, I'll go. One is um, infantry east, two is infantry south, three is cavalry south, and four is cavalry east. And five is general, which I, I just keep him in the background, because if he dies, everything sucks. So, here we go. Awesome. Reinforcements! Yay! guys march forward to you guys too I'll send this guy ahead to get the artillery charge Generally, I think I'll have a better chance doing it this way than if I were to do it old style way. And I believe these are the reinforcements here. No. Yes. I don't know. This is the cavalry. I'll have these guys go for the gate. No, they're all going for the same. No. Here. That's not right, guys. You're gonna kill yourselves. How is South coming? Yes. 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 Everything is going to plan. They're climbing the walls. And then, let's see if you guys can go through the gate.
also. You can climb this wall if you want. Overrun them. Everything should go as planned. Ulans are routing. Oh well. Okay, you gotta break into a charge right now. There's too many of them. Oh, they're doing it. They're doing it. Wee. Oh god, look at that. They're just massacring whoever comes. That's why I hate taking these kinds of forts. Damn the Quebecois. Quebecois. However they want to call themselves. Oh no! Get him! You help. You help. Ah, so much lag. This could be a very long video, but actually no, it won't be more than 20 minutes at most. <sighs> Let's see. Ooh, the gate is open. Come on. Should have brought winged hussars. No! No! 
you guys know to climb up the walls too, right? Okay, good. No. You you must win, Poland. The gate is mine. Gate house. First step in a victory, get the gate house. Ooh. Look at that, there's like five divisions of light infantry. I guess some of them aren't quite light infantry, but. Get him. Don't just stand there. Get him. Make a dash for it. There's you. What are you doing? Oh, you're the general and the bodyguard. Whatever. You stay there. Who are you? Also help out, please. Hmm, but the battle's already half over. And so far, nothing to show for it. Um, general bodyguard won't attack. Okay, you. Get down there. Meanwhile, you. Go get these guys. We get the no.
French Canadian, how have they not surrendered? <laughs> okay, so right now, I don't know what's going on here, but it looks like there's a bunch of troops just like conglomerating at the gate, fighting for control of it. Up here, they, that's where most of their force still is. Their general's hiding out down there. Maybe it'd be good if I sent somebody there to kill him, but... Oh, I win in two minutes, so... But that's how long it takes for me to raise my flag or whatever, I don't know. And that's like a sign of victory or something. You go in there and kill them. Where, where are you? If you want to make it here in time, I guess you can go in there. Hey, we changed the flag. Now we're hoisting it up. Yay! Viva la Polska! Awesome. Get him, get him! Ah! Now they're coming up. Get um. Yay. The flag is mine. Or a gatehouse, rather. Um. End battle. Heroic victory. They only had one territory, so they're done anyways. So, yeah, typically I like auto-resolve, but sometimes it's just not viable when... Oh, it's gonna turn out to be you have to pour in more troops because when you auto-resolve, you lose, but you could easily win it if you're fighting yourself. And fighting's not bad. I mean, I prefer the other half of the game, the managing, upgrading thing, but a lot of people have that and auto-manage and they just like the battle part of it. So. Totally didn't see a royal observatory in that little fort, but whatever. 100% Catholic. They have a university that when I destroy it, they'll be even more in love with me. I won't have to build some kind of um, religious institution. Now I can get Montreal. Three. Meh. I don't know how. But oh well, I'm not gonna. So that's what's going on now. Got part of Canada. As if I already didn't have two parts of Canada. Technically three. So you know, a four, then five, and then I'll have three more parts of America, and then I'll be like, hey, British, what's up? And then I'll be like, ah, Cherokees. But probably not. Maybe if I declare war on the Iroquois, the Cherokee will be like, oh, you're a, you're a enemy to Native Americans, but I doubt that. I don't know. I've never seen that happen. So that is that. Pretty long video. We see a Europe with four, five countries in it, if you include Malta, but mainly three. Um, 
prestige. Four countries left in the world. Maybe I'll get the Marathas out soon and then the other two are my allies. I rule this place. I have 73 territories. Ooh, what about Ukraine? What about Ukraine? One bad minister. Um, I'm sorry, not minister, but like, um, one bad person in there would just screw everything up for them. And I also have a rake that I'm going to put to use now. Two rakes in Lithuania. <laughs> and then as soon as I get Kiev, I guess I'll try to buy the Crimea and Estonia and Finland, and then I won't e I won't even have to go to war with Russia to get the territories I want. I like Don Viosko too. I'll just buy. But then they might declare war on me and have a Bergantuit army. Nothing I can't get back in two turns, right? So, save and turn. Whatever. See you later, guys. This is Pelofort. Hoping to wrap this series up soon.